So if I was a dude, and I was a vending machine fanatic, so much so that I tried to catch a vending machine as it fell off a truck and I died instantly, I would be reborn as a vending machine and now I wander the dungeon, which is actually somehow hornier than it sounds. So I'm standing in the middle of nowhere and my inside parts are like, you gotta get money so you can convert those to points so that you can live, and I'm like, ah, fuck. But what comes out is, welcome, because I can't talk, because I'm a vending machine. And it's a really good thing I can't talk, because I describe every woman I meet tits first. And then these frog people walk up to me, and I'm like, ah, customer! But then they start beating the shit out of me with clubs, and I'm like, oh, well, this is bad. And my inside parts are all like, beep, boop, five damage, and I'm like, ah, shit! So I use a barrier, which I apparently have. And the frog people just, like, leave. Then all of a sudden this girl comes up who doesn't have a filter and everything that goes through her head comes out of her mouth and she's all like, Kya, if only I wasn't so clumsy and my party left me alone in this dungeon, then I wouldn't be starving and dehydrating to death. Ooh. And I'm all like, oh my god, a customer. And her name is Lamis. And she's all like, yeah, a magic box. Wow, what are these weird objects inside? Why, that looks like it could be water. And this, is that some sort of vegetable? Could this be a soup? I think I'll try to buy some. And I'm all like, oh yeah, baby, give me the goods. And I give her corn soup because bitches love corn soup. And she drinks all this soup, so I offer her Pringles and she's all like, what is this sort of flat baked item? Wow, once I pop, I have popped. This box is now my best friend. I'm going to take it back to the town. And I'm all like, bitch, I am an 800-pound vending machine. But apparently, miraculously, she has a blessing of might and can easily take me back to the town. Where everybody's all like, Gorsh, is that a magic box? I can't wait to buy the things that are inside it. And because all of the food I sell has, like, processed sugars and high fructose corn syrup and edible petroleum byproducts, people get addicted to them, and I am devastating the local fucking ecosystem. And then this bear comes up to us, right, and is all like, Lamis, weird box thing. I want you to go on a mission to go hunt frogs and serve everyone warm soup while they do it. Which, I mean, I guess it boosts morale and stuff. Anyway, we go hunt frogs, and then all of a sudden, one of the frogs is a giant frog, and it is on fire, and it is now chasing us. And you'd think there would be nothing I could do to help anybody in this situation, but oh no, not for me. I put out two liters of Coca-Cola, and also Mentos. I saved the day by fucking Coke Mentosing a frog. Anyway, we get back to town, and it turns out the town has been destroyed, which kind of sucks, but it's okay, because I give everyone alcohol. So then this other woman comes up to me, and she's all like, I have some gold coins here. Would you perhaps do a money exchange for me? And she does it anyway, and it's very orgasmic to me, and I really wish there was some other way it was described, but oh no. And if you're wondering, wow, this story is getting kind of, um, weirdly softcore erotic, well, guess what? Now I gotta sell condoms to a bear. Actually, the bear asked me to sell condoms to another woman. And if you're like, okay, Wazzy, I really wish you wouldn't read this book anymore, well, guess what, idiots? Now we go to the bathhouse! Everybody there has to talk about going into mating season and being really horny about it. So then everything goes back to normal. And by normal, I mean a 13-year-old and Lamis have an argument about tit sizes. In which the child calls Lamis Lamaries. I'm not making this up. Anyway, then I get kidnapped. Don't fucking question it, you made it this far already. And the thieves take me to their hideout where I meet Hume Lee, Lamis's best friend who's also kidnapped, and she has small tits. Trust me, this is important, because a bunch of people are gonna come assault her with their penises, and I, a vending machine, have to save her. Not with that barrier I described, but by becoming a porno mag vending machine. But then it turns out that everybody found us and the base explodes and a whole bunch of rubble falls on us. But don't worry, I turn into an oxygen dispensing vending machine. Anyway, Lamis finds us and is all like, Boxo, I thought you were dead forever. <gasps> I love you, Boxo. And I'm all, Amso, Boxo. Bitches love corn soup. This is because...
becoming an anime, and I can't let this happen. It's, listen, hi, Crunchyroll, it's your boy, Wasi. Don't fucking do it. I know you want to make this an anime, but don't fucking do it, my guys. Please, please. I've never asked you for anything in my life. I've never, I've never asked for a single thing. I, I, please.